hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a hairstyle video I haven't done one of those in a while and so I my favorite hairstyles are very loose they are very easy I don't do much with my hair actually I just usually leave it like this this is if I have to go out I leave my hair like this or I have a side part like that so the first hairstyle that I thought about trying I always do the half up do so this is like a regular staple you guys know that one but what about the top knot half up I've never done that one so let's see okay it's not black because I don't have a black one Three, four. I guess this is not really gonna be a top knot. It's gonna be a bun. I don't know how to do a top knot actually. What is the difference? It's actually cute. So if my scrunchie was black, can you guys pretend? Look how cute this little curl is. Okay, so instead of the top knot, we're going to try the bun first. Okay, in general, I try not to put pins in my hair when I don't have to. So I'm just putting a small elastic over that just to see. Okay, so this is like a... Bun. I don't mind it but it's kind of like very much in the front it's looking good like this this is it So, it's cute. I would wear that to work because I like when my hair is off my face and it's not tight at all, so it wouldn't it wouldn't bother me. And I think it looks like professional. I don't know if you guys agree. Let's try another one. Next one I'm going to try is the top knot. <laughs> this time I'm gonna try it with the black elastic only so I don't know how people do top knots with their regular hair I would have to watch a top knot tutorial just to see what people do but I know that you can do a top knot with a half up I'm gonna try to twirl it and put it up like that and put the black elastic and see what happens Oh, that looks more like a top knot, but I don't like it. Let me pause this and look at a tutorial and I'll be right. All right, so I'm back. I checked the tutorial and I'm not off completely. So just fixing it and fixing the elastic, that would be a top knot, half down top knot. I like both as styles that I can use to keep my hair off my face when I want to mix it up change it up this is like to spice it up maybe and make it more like tidy maybe and again this style does not pull it doesn't pull here it doesn't pull here and here it doesn't pull either in the beginning I wasn't sure like looking at myself in the viewfinder I don't like it but if I look at myself in the mirror I don't hate it so I guess it wouldn't be my favorite no I broke my elastic eyes no 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 oh no it has served me well okay so next uh style what will it be again i'm trying to do styles that do not require bobby pins so i'm gonna do the bun i've never done a bun it's good also for the summer because sometimes you want to just get your hair off your neck so this video will show if sister locks are really that versatile because if it's hard to do the style because your hair can't be pulled or put into a position 
it's not gonna work okay so so far i was able to put all my hair into a ponytail all right so we have to form the bun usually what i do to do buns for my daughters is i go from the middle and i try to spread the hair around the tool that i'm using and from there i either bobby pin the hair or i put a elastic or scrunchy or whatever it is i don't know if that's gonna work with sister locks we'll see okay i don't think i was able to do it properly one side is not bad but one side is not well this would work if you didn't want to use bobby pins i think this would work if you don't mind having a messy bun but if you want a neat bun for a recital or something or an event okay so this second elastic is helping it stay and be neater it's pulling a little bit somewhere here here's the back it's not looking the best in my opinion well this is not a style that you could do without bobby pins if you want it to be super neat you need bobby pins to hold some hairs especially for me with my length but it's comfortable if you if you pull some of the sister locks towards the front to relieve tension you're not gonna feel pulling you know how like when you had braids and you wanted to tie it up you always had to pull braids in the front so that it doesn't pull you would need to do the same thing for the front and the back but yeah for me this is good enough that i could go to church like this if i wanted to i could go to work like this if i wanted to if i wanted my hair to be off my neck going to an event somewhere spice it up with decorations if i'm going somewhere but if i'm not then just like that i don't know what you guys think so comment below what your favorite style is for me so far i think my favorite is the top knot bun and i like this one too i like this i know people are very creative with their hair i am not but you know i can do little things like that so so far three styles very versatile very this is my favorite hairstyle guys so this is what it's looking like now with two years almost two years and a half this is my side part style but i do a little kind of fake teasing to make it look higher sometimes and i like that and my deep side part i love that too so those are my favorite styles that i do if i'm filming or if i'm going out so this is my deep side part and that also i tease it up it gives me volume i like volume i always like volume this is another staple so what i could do for this is So those type of styles i think that it's best if you have bobby pins but i was trying something without bobby pins so i'm trying to see this is more if you want to have your hair off of your shoulders from the front i like that better than the bun but you have to work harder to make it look good fix here fix here i have this hair going towards the back when it's supposed to be going up here so fix that again this is if you don't want to use bobby pins you want to do something simple it might not be a event type of style because you risk maybe messing it up easily but i like it it's like an updo with volume because you know how when you do the bun your hair is slicked back i like when my hair gives me volume to elongate my head like this the slick back i feel makes me look rounder in the face i don't hate it um ah, see that's what i was saying because there's no bobby pins you're at the mercy of it unraveling 
for no reason. I would say if when I master this, this is an option. It's probably best with bobby pins this one. Again, bobby pins will win. However, I know if I put bobby pins in my head, I will not be able to keep the style for too long. Okay, I'm going to try the top knot. And I'm going to be using this. I don't know if my hair is long enough in the back to do this, so we'll find out together. So maybe it's too high. Okay, so just this in itself is a style. I like it. I like the messiness of it. And I was able to put everything in for the most part. Wow, my locks are really long enough for this. So this is the perfect style for me if I'm going somewhere and I don't want to be hot because I don't like the slick buns. It's not really my style. The slick styles, I like the messy styles. Actually, my hair is too long for this style. I would wear this with a black scrunchie, but again, it's not too tight. And if you feel some of the sister locks pulling, you can pull them back like me pulling here and here i love this i think this one's my favorite so far and so from this you can do a bun and like i said the neat looks are not my favorite for myself but i can understand why you would need to have a neat look once in a while I like this bun better than the regular um, lower bun that I did before, but I don't think that my hair is long enough for this to look the best. So I don't think that I would go out with, with that hairstyle, not yet. If my hair was longer, I think I could make it bigger. It would have been looking better. This is another style that probably would be enhanced with bobby pins and pins, but we're doing no pins, hairstyles. This can work, again, if you're not prissy prissy and you don't mind if your hair is not perfect. But if I'm gonna be doing the imperfect look, I prefer the messy ponytail, high ponytail that I had before this one. Let's see if I could do a messy bun instead of this clean bun. I don't know what messy bun would be. Is this a messy bun? This is a messy bun. If it's a messy bun, tell me guys. It doesn't have to look neat and clean like the other one. I'm just trying hairstyles here. I like that. Yeah, that's not bad. So this is what the bag looks like for you guys. I think that that's it. I've already done on my channel the regular ponytail and so I'm not gonna do that again. If you want to check that out, I'll put the link to that video. I was just playing with my hair. This is it guys, this is it for the styles that I wanted to try today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this was helpful, especially for people who are looking at what your hair can do when it's fine, when it's medium density, when it's two years and some months in. So this is what I, I'm able to do with my hair right now and I'm really enjoying it. I don't do much, but I would say yes, sister locks are versatile. You can do a bunch of styles and more. This is just off the top, things that I do with my hair if I haven't done a braid out, if I haven't done a twist out, because I do not do much with my hair at all these days. I've never really done much with my hair. So this is experimenting with hairstyles 28 months in. That's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And I have a sister locks playlist. I hope that the content that I've already put out about my sister locks is interesting enough that you will want to subscribe. 
the playlists will be linked for sure and also if you have any questions do not hesitate thank you so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing comment below if you have any comments questions and suggestions and i'll see you in another video bye bye